Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Thursday, February 8, 2024. I hope that you are all doing okay. I pray that you had a good night's rest and that you are ready to take on this day. I pray that the Lord will continue to watch over you and may he give you peace today. In Jesus' name. Our reading today comes to us from Matthew chapter 13, reading verses 3 to 9. It says, And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow, and when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Verse 5, Some fell upon stony places, where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up, because they had no deepness of earth. 6. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. 7. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. 8. But other fell into good ground, and brought forth fruit, some an hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Nine and last says, Who hath an hear to hear, let him hear. And I say, Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his holy words. Now in this parable, Christ illustrates the things of the kingdom of heaven and this great work, the work of advancing the gospel. Now, the parable illustrates a sower in the field, sowing, and the seed is represented here by the gospel or the truth. Now, as the sower sow, some of the seed, they fell among the rocks. Some fell among the thorns, and then there are those that fell on good ground or in good soil. Now, the ones that fell on the rocks, they grew, but because they had no soil, they weren't able to, to remain steadfast. So when the sun came up, they were scorched or they were rooting up. Right? Now, the same way, when we share the gospel or the truth, we must understand that not everyone will receive or would want to hear the truth. So you share the gospel and everyone will hear but not everyone will obey and just as those seeds that fell among the rock you will have some folks who hear the gospel but because they were not rooted and grounded in the truth when difficulty come upon them they reverted back to their previous state or they were rooted rooted up because they had no foundation and then you have those who fell among the thorns. So you have those who are, they are similar to the ones that fell on, among the rocks. They are not rooted. And so when the thorns came up amongst them, when trouble came up amongst them, they were easily offended. They walk away because of the prick that they were getting. So in other words, persecution, trials, and difficulty weed them up. It, so their faith and their relationship was not enough to, to, to ground them to persevere through these hardships or through difficult times. Then you have those who are represented by the seeds fell in amongst the good soil. These seeds they were able to grow and to flourish because they were rooted and grounded in the word of God. They accepted the truth, they abide by the truth, and they live by the truth. And so when the sun came upon them and when the thorns, when trials and tribulation comes, they were not shaken because they were grounded in the word of God and they understand the truth and they had a relationship with God so was, so they were able to withstand the difficulties that came along 
And so when we share the gospel, you know, we would wish that everyone would accept and that we all would remain faithful. But the truth is that we are in a warfare. We are in a battle and some of the seed will grow and some will not grow. Now, we need to pray and ask the Lord to help us as, as we share the gospel or the truth, which is the seed, that it will fall on good ground. And so I encourage us today, may we continue to share the truth, continue to share the word of God, and also may we continue to groan ourselves in the word of God so that when we go through these different experiences, we will have that foundation that will help us to stand amidst every difficulty. May God bless you and may God continue to keep you. Amen.